One of the things so many players want to be able to do is be strumming some chords and then be able to go away from the chords and play more single note lead style guitar and then come back to the chords. Now this takes time to develop, but one of the best ways to get started with this is playing a song like what I'm gonna share with you today in this Buffalo Springfield for what it's worth guitar lesson. Now this song only has three chords, but we're gonna be playing those chords, blending in a riff, and then make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna show you how to play the guitar solo as well, note for note, over the chord progression. So let's get started. We're gonna begin with the three chords you need to know, and they're all open chords. So the first chord is an E major, and that's just open, two, two, one, open, open. And then the other chord we'll need to know is A7, which is played from the fifth string down, just open, two, open, two, open. And I use my middle finger and ring finger there on the second fret. And then the last chord is D, and that is played from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. Okay, so we've got E, A7, D. All right, so those are the three chords you need to know. Now the intro is gonna start off going from an E chord to an A7. So we're gonna start on the E and we're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, A7, two, and three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and. And what I'm doing is I'm playing the E on the downbeat, then waiting to the last eighth note of the measure, the and of four, to play the next chord. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Then again, four and one and two, three and four and one. So the first one's on the beat, and then you syncopate from there on out. Now, when we get to the verse, we're gonna play this riff. It's gonna go like this. Now that riff there is just a bluesy riff off of the chord shape. And if you wanna to learn to play licks like this anywhere on the neck, I wanna give you something that's gonna help you master this. And what it is, is my blues scale PDF guide. And on it, I show you the five blues scale patterns that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And this is so useful if you wanna understand the fretboard and you wanna play blues guitar and lead guitar. So grab this completely for free, just just go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales or click the first link down below as my gift to you. Start out by strumming the E chord and then we're gonna slide in to the fourth fret on the fifth string. That's the note C sharp. Then play the note E on the second fret of the fourth string. Then back to C sharp, then open A. So it goes one and two and three and four and Okay, one and two and three and four and. And I'm playing all down strums there with my strum hand. So down, 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 down. Now here, I've hit that open A, I let it ring. And in the verse, we're alternating. We're going a bar of E to a bar of A7. So what I'm gonna do is use that riff in between. I'll play the A string and then I strum the rest of the string. So I try not to re-attack that fifth string. Let me show you what I mean. So I strum the chord, E, slide, play the riff, play the open A, then strum from four down. See that? Then I repeat the riff again, okay? Slide into C sharp there, E, C sharp. Now the second time, E, low E. Okay, so remember I said we're alternating, we're playing an E chord to an A7, and the riff anticipates the bass note. So it's going like E to A. See that? One and two and three and four and one, two, back to E. Then I do the same thing, I pluck the low E, then strum from five down. And what this does is it creates more dimension in the guitar part. Like if you were playing your own version of this and singing along or accompanying a singer, doing these sorts of techniques 
are gonna really make your sound fill out more versus just strumming the straight chord. You, you have like, you're thinking of independent parts and you're trying to control that with your strum hand. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, the verse. And then in the last bar, a lot of times I just strum. You could play the same riff. Stop, hey, what's that sound? Then we go into the chorus. So sort of going into the chorus, a lot of times I'll do that build. So let's check out the chorus next. It's really short. This is over the words stop, hey, what's that sound? Here's what it sounds like. Three, four, stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Then we're back to the verse riff there. So it's just two bars. This is where the D chord comes in. So we strum once on the E, one and two and then on the end of two, we go to D. So one, and two, and three, and four, and stop, hey, what's that sound? Okay, so I'm just strumming along with the vocal there. One, and two, and three, and four, and then I play all eighth notes here, going A to E. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now you can play A7 if you want, there I went to the just straight A chord in the chorus. So that's from the fifth string down, open, two, 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 open. It's like the same chord, it's still an A, but it's just whether you want that seventh, which is more of the bluesy sound, or you just want straight the triad, which kind of has more of a poppy, more uh, less bluesy sound. So three, uh, one, and two, and then switch to E, three, and four, and. So all together, stop, hey, what's that sound? A, then back to E. All right, there's another part I wanna talk about. There's uh, an electric guitar just playing some, uh, you know, harmonics. And what these are, are just harmonics here at the 12th fret on the first string, okay? You just put your finger, you just lightly touch the string right at the 12th fret, okay? Not before the fret, like how we would play the note fretted. We're gonna do a harmonic. You get that sound there. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the seventh fret. And then of course that's going over. One, two, All right, next let's dive into the solo. Now the solo happens over the verse section, which is just a bar of E to a bar of A. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so we're mainly using the blues scale here, the E blues scale. again, you're gonna wanna learn those patterns that I show you on my blues scale PDF guide. But we're starting here hammering from seven to nine on the third string, then eight on the second string, then 10 bend. Okay, that's the note D, E, G, A. And it comes in on the and of two, one and a two and three and four and, and then you have that note pre-bent there, and then you just release it down on 10. So you release it down to 10 natural, and then pluck it again two times, then eight. So it's one and two and three and four and. So on up beats there, one and two and three and four and then. Okay, a little bluesy lick here, 10. Pull off to eight on the second string, nine on the third string, 
back to eight with a little bluesy bend on the second string, then nine on the third string like this. If I counted out the rhythms, one and two and three and four and. So, so far I've got three and four and one. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, now here he uses the blue scale, but he uses one note that is not in the blue scale. And it's an interesting choice. Check it out, it goes. All right, so there is a C natural there. It's got a great sound. Sort of like a Dick Dale kind of sound there. And, and what it is is I'm playing seven, nine, seven, five, then resolve to four. And really, it's just a half step away. Like if you thought this is an E chord here, for those of you that use the cage system. I'm seeing these shapes all over the neck all the time. So this is this is a C shape here for the E chord. And I see this triad here and then I've got this note which is right above the chord tone. So the chord tone is here and this is definitely a dissonant note but then it resolves. So it's all blues scale and then this one note that kind of adds a little bit of tension and then it resolves. Here it is. I played a little bit of rhythm into my looper pedal. We'll try it together. Get set and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four, and. So those are the guitar parts for this iconic song. There's a lot in there from just the three basic chords, but playing the riff off the chords and then doing the solo as well. Now to put this all together anywhere on the neck, be sure to grab my free blue scale PDF guide. There's a link below this video or just go to johnmclennan.com slash blue scales and you can grab this. It's really gonna help shortcut your way to learning the neck and being able to play solos like this and have a lot of fun. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this song, check out this video next.